Hey guys, welcome to another video. Uh, this time I'm going to talk about the GoTrax glider scooter. Um, that's this one on the bottom. And I'm putting it next to the Segway, which is the classic one that most people know, uh, the Ninebot. Segway Ninebot, very nice scooter, but I would say um, overall the GoTrax has been a lot uh, more useful for me just because of the size. They both go about uh, 14 miles per hour. They both charge about the same and get about the same amount of miles per charge. Um, what I like about the GoTrax glider um, is the size. So whenever I take the bus, when I commute, it really comes in handy. Carrying it, it's uh, 10 pounds lighter than the Segway. The Segway comes in at 27 pounds and the GoTrax glider is at 17 pounds. 10 pounds might not seem like a whole lot of difference, but when you're tugging it around with passengers on a bus, getting in and, uh, um, in and out of the bus, it makes a difference. And putting it in between your legs when you're sitting in the passenger seat, you see the, the size difference. It's much lower, thinner. It helps a lot when you're just trying to keep it um, in a seat on a crowded bus. Lighter smaller thinner lower profile i will highly recommend the go tracks uh, for overall it's been very reliable sturdy the wheels are obviously smaller than the segways but they 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 do its job i know you just got to be a little more gentle with them um both of them are just plain um, wheels, no air, so there's no pumping involved, so not as good of a shock absorbency. The Segway actually has the um, dampers, which helps out with the um, with the bumps in the road, whereas the Gold Tracks does not. So you do feel a lot more road whenever you ride. When they're bumpy or just rough, you can feel that a lot more. But anyway, I was going to show you guys how to change the battery on this Gold Trax. So this Gold Trax is getting a bit, getting a little bit aged. So it's the um, Gold Trax Glide, Gold Trax Glider. It's been, it's been good. It's been serving me well, commuting back and forth to work, going on the bus, taking it for the last fuel, last mile, you know, from the bus, off the bus to work directly in front and um, let's check out the batteries all right so let's get this thing up so what we got to do is um, unscrew the handle here. Get this camera situated here. Now what we gotta do is unscrew these two screws. Um, what we need is a uh, one of these T27 hex drivers. Uh, just unscrew it. Yeah, they sell these um, at a lot of places. I got this one actually at this this tool at Harbor Freight. Very cheap. It comes with a whole set 
of sizes, but it's the T27 that you're gonna need for, for this particular screw. So once you get the screw off, then just, there it is, that's the battery. Okay, so this comes off here. And that's the connection to the handlebar. And this is the battery that you're gonna need. So let's see, that's the UPC code. And the battery you're gonna need is uh, the model number JTBC. 204-01 voltage 25 2 right 25.2 yeah 25.2 volt dc I'm trying to focus my camera here yep uh 5.2 amps so basically Google search on that model number and right there and you should we should be able to find the battery for this. Get a new battery, stick it back in, and you're all good to go. Alright, so we got the battery, that's the handle. I gotta stick it back in, stick it back in the handle, and goes back in the scooter, and you're all set. That's the battery change out. It's pretty simple. I guess hard part is finding this battery online, a new one, and and sticking it back in. Then you'll be good. Uh, scooter good as new. All right, guys. Uh, good luck with that.